What are the differences between school psychology, clinical psychology, and neuropsychology? If you are wondering what these are and how to become these, stay tuned. We will go right through it in this video. What's up, fam? If you're new to this channel, my name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to PsyD. This channel is dedicated to all things clinical psychology. If you care about psychology, wellness, and if you want a little bit of a sneak preview into what grad school might look like for you, then this is the channel for you. So today we're gonna go through three things, right? We're gonna go through school psychology, clinical psychology, and neuropsychology. We're going to go over what these are and how to become these. And therefore, through that, you can probably see some of the differences between each field. So now, no way, shape, or form is this video going to give you guys an in-depth description about each field. This is, video is really just a basic overview of what they are so that you guys can get a little bit of a better picture of what you might like in one or two or three of these fields and how you might go about in terms of studying and researching and perhaps even applying to some of these programs. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the first one. We're gonna talk about clinical psychology first. So I know I've done a number of different videos about clinical psychology, but just to basically do a short recap, clinical psychology, what is clinical psychology? Psychologists are basically therapists, they're researchers. They essentially can do therapy, but they also can do psychological assessments things like personality assessments, things like neurological assessments as well. And in some states, they can prescribe medication. Now, how to become a clinical psychologist. In order to become a clinical psychologist, you have to get a bachelor's degree. From there, you can go into a PhD or a PsyD. PhDs are usually six to seven years. PsyDs range anywhere from five to six years. After that, you would get licensed in your state and you would be a practicing clinical psychologist. Now, from clinical psychology, let's move into neuropsychology. I've done several videos about neuropsychology, but just to recap, neuropsychology, kind of the same thing. What do neuropsychologists do? So neuropsychologists primarily focus on neuropsychology, neuropsychological disorders, all right? So this involves anything, for example, with ADHD or dementia or Alzheimer's, any type of neurological disorder that's going on that involves the brain and affecting human behavior and emotions is what neuropsychologists are going to focus on. You need a bachelor's in order to apply to these programs. You can either go into a neuropsychology PhD program and become a licensed neuropsychologist, or you can go sort of the long ways. You can become a clinical psychologist first, and then you can get all the additional certifications that you need to become a board certified or basically a clinical psychologist that is specializes in neuropsychology. So that is a little bit of a longer ways, but you can do either way. You can either do the neuropsychology route or the clinical psychology route in order to become a neuropsychologist. Now, the last thing is gonna be school psychologist, right? So school psychologist is a little bit tricky. It's a little bit more varied in, than clinical psychologist or neuropsychologist, but we will try and do our best to explain this. School psychologists basically can do very similar things that clinical psychologists and neuropsychologists can do, but obviously they're focused way more for children. So they may work in schools, they may work with private agencies, educational programs, things like that, where they can do psychological assessments for children. So they can work on things like IQ tests for children, they can set up different programs for children. Uh, they can obviously do therapy. So they're doing the therapy, they're doing psychological assessment, but it's all pertaining specifically for schools. So I would say the, the biggest difference between school psychology and neuropsychology or clinical psychology is that you can be a school psychologist with just a master's and pretty much do most of the things in school psychology, right? For most people, for most states, they require a, a clinical psychologist or a neuropsychologist to have a PhD. In other words, if you wanna be a neuropsychologist, you can't graduate with just a master's. You have to graduate with that, that doctoral degree. Now, school psychology is a little bit different because you can get a two-year master's degree specifically in school psychology. And from there, you can just basically get certified. The reason that school psychology is different than clinical neuropsychology is because there's a different licensure or certification involved. Basically, what there is for clinical psychology and neuropsychology is the ECCP. This is the ECCP licensure exam in order to become a psychologist or a neuropsychologist. 
there's the National Association of School Psychologists, right? So it's actually a different sort of certification than clinical neuropsychology. So for this one, that's why it's a little bit more varied with school psychology, where people can go into getting a master's in school psychology, getting certified through the NASP, and then therefore being able to work in schools and different things like that, right? So those are what school psychologists are. Now, like I said before, there are a number of different ways to become a school psychologist. You can either go the, the master's route and going through a two-year program and then getting certified in your state, or you can go from there into a three-year program. So a three-year program would go through two years of a master's program, and then it would include a one-year internship, right? From that one-year internship, you can specialize in a number of school psychology topics. So that is sort of the three-year route. Then the lastly, the next route is going into a PhD school psychology or a PsyD school psychology. So school psychologists have their own specific programs for school psychology, right? So the PhD would still be the same. It would be about six to seven years, just like clinical psychology or neuropsychology. The PsyD would also be similar. So PsyDs that are specific for school psychologies would also be five years, right? And from there, they could be doctors. So they'd be doctors of school psychology. Now, also from there, they can also take the NASP licensure or sort of certification exam in order to become school, specifically school psychologist. And that would be the route that they could go. So those are the three things. They could go the master's route, which is two years. They could go the specialty route, which is two years and a one year internship, or people could go through the actual PhD program or PsyD program of school psychology. With that guys, that is sort of what we have gone through with psychology, clinical psychology and school psychology. And so put down in the comment section below if you're interested in one of these fields, whether you're interested in clinical psychology or neuropsychology or school psychology, why you're interested in it. And if you'd like to see me do more videos about one of these fields, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.